What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you one of the most incredible wars that I've ever had a chance to be a part of. Forbidden and Warzone 68 here in CWL Invite Week 2. This was the matchup you guys that everybody was paying close attention to considering the performance that Warzone 68 put on back in week one forbidding getting the one star victory 130 to 129 and what an incredible wait till you guys see some of these attacks and some of the stats i will be showing i will be throwing those up on the screen here momentarily um but we'll go ahead and look at each side of the maps this was the big difference of the war right here you guys is the fact that we cleared tens and had two 11 v 11 three stars we'll be checking out both of those a little later always saving the best for last you guys and as far the as the bases that warzone 68 was uh running is they were putting up uh anti three star town hall 11 layouts uh but i'll go ahead and go through the stats uh for you guys as we go ahead and check out uh this town hall nine attack coming from storm with a classic textbook sui hero lalo okay where are they there they go there's the stats so as you guys see it forbidden picking up two 11 v 11 three stars going seven for nine 10 v 11 don't look into that stat too much like i said warzone 68 was running anti three town hall 11s as were we uh and this was the other big difference is 11 10 v 10 three stars you guys and not to mention okay not to mention look at the town hall nine game look at the town hall nine game going 18 for 22 only having four fails at town hall nine and the big difference in this war you guys is the base building huge shout out to all the base builders over in forbidden from town hall 11 the town hall 10s the town hall nines especially uh, as we're gonna go ahead and look at Forbidden, or go ahead and look at Warzone 68 stats. There they go. Uh, for uh, Warzone 68, putting up one 11v11 triple. They had 10 10v10 three stars. Like I said, guys, this was a heavy hitter showdown. Look at these numbers, these double digit numbers. Uh, now, this is where they struggled right here, you guys, is the fact that they went 16 for 32 and. They had to dip two of our Town Hall 9s with their Town Hall 10s. Uh, and a, another big stat that I didn't mention is we had 14 scouts on their Town Hall 10s versus their three. Every attack matters, especially playing at this level in invite. And of course, both sides going 100% on the dips. I'm telling you guys, this war, neither side could make a mistake. Uh, the moment Warzone 68 made a mistake as far not even making a mistake but they were not able to put up the offensive numbers that forbidden was able to and that comes down to the base building all right guys let's go ahead and get into the heavy hitter action starting with must uh this is a must see attack as you guys see right here kind of using there's a couple attacks uh that we did at the town hall 10 level using this little uh bowler kill squad sending in the heroes with a few giants anywhere from four to five bowlers with the rage poison uh getting the cc and helping slow down the the fire from the enemy queen and as you see queen is easily able to reach that inferno tower from over the wall but look at breaking the defensive ring look at the value that he got from that cheap kill squad now he's gonna go ahead and start his lalo down here at six o'clock where he has a uh, seven haste and one heal spell that he will be deploying. Hounds coming in uh, from the bottom, two huge wads of loons uh, coming into those haste. They're gonna take out the Tesla, take out the cannon. And as you guys see, both of those expos, to my surprise, or should I say to our surprise, Warzone 68 was running a lot of ground expos. So a lot of the 10 10 three stars were coming from the sky, as you guys see, must doing a textbook lalo on this one uh two more haste down and as you guys see ending on two wizard towers but dropping that heal spell still has the cc hound still up look at all those loons and look at this incredible split right there 
as they will be collapsing on the final two threats, that being the Wizard Towers up at 12 and over at 1 o'clock. Nothing but cleanup, guys. We'll go ahead and times this. Uh, but like I said, this one coming from us, which was a must-see, and not to mention the dude's six-pack. But since Forbidden had 11 10v10s, we're not going to show uh, all of them, but I did hand-select the ones that I thought were, uh, I mean, you guys have to see these attacks. Okay, next up, uh, Clan War Killer coming in, going ground. One of the few ground attacks uh, that we saw from the Forbidden side. Uh, but check this out, guys. Using hogs and for good reason. As we know, hogs are incredibly overpowering at the Town Hall 10 level. And sending in about five bowl, about six bowlers in this kill squad. Dropping down the jump, got the wall break. Dropped down the jump, dropped down the rage. Uh, was a damaged CC as most of these CCs were. Uh, and look at this, gonna pick up an expo. Gonna go ahead and get the archer tower. Uh, doesn't have queen ability. But as you see, she is actually inside that rage spell still, and she's going to get the expo way on the back end. And if you guys missed it, uh, CWK did drop one hog to detonate that bomb that was in front of that Infernal Tower at 6 o'clock before he sent in the main group. Heal spell down. Notice he has one more heal spell, and look at the other spell. He will be bringing a rage for this back end. As you guys can see, there are no bombs up there at the top of the map where these hogs are going to be ending. Hogs inside that heal spell as the giant bomb pops. And there we go. Look at these rage hoggies coming through. They're going to wipe through the cannon. Pretty much one shot it. One shot the Tesla. And the last Tesla uh, is actually the last defense to go down. Nothing but cleanup. And somehow, miraculously, his queen is in the core, beating on a wall. But she did survive this attack. Huge shout to CWK, picking up another 10v10 three-star here in CWL Invite. All right, guys, next up we have Potty Mouth, and he is going to be doing, uh, an, a, again, a similar attack that we saw uh, Must doing. As you guys see, uh, Potty does have uh, four bowlers he's bringing in this kill squad with the heal, a couple rage, and the rest haste. As we do know, this is a Hound Loon that will be coming out of the CC. So here we go. Queen is down, uh, being nice and patient. Look at the funnel he's setting up, which is crucial. Up there at 12 and over at 1 o'clock, just using a couple wizards to trim all that trash as he does want both of the heroes to meet up here as they are going to be going into this uh, 12 o'clock junction up here where there's the air defense, the expo, the queen, the Tesla, two Teslas actually. Rage spell down. There goes the bowlers. They're going to be going inside that rage spell, helping out with this kill squad. And as you guys see, queen getting tangled up on that hound. Um, but he already used the ability, which took out an air defense uh, before he goes ahead and starts the flight portion. So he got incredible value with only a poison and a raid spell. So here we go, pre-dropping down a couple haste spells um, up at 10 and at 9 o'clock. Here we go, CC Hound is down. Uh, notice he did drop five of those balloons to go ahead and target that Inferno Tower. Uh, and here we go, they're going to meet up with the raid spell. Uh, covering the wizard tower and the archer tower and as you guys see these moves will clearly be going there's another ground expo like i said they were running quite a few ground expos uh so forbidden definitely taking advantage of that uh, but here we go heal spell down as they're approaching the wizard tower and another archer tower over here on the back end and a raid spell to help push through that air sweeper and get to that inferno tower as there is still one more air defense up but look at all the loons you guys Look at all the loons. I think he, he ended with more loons than he started with. Has a tail of loons. Look at that. Beautiful split. Nothing but cleanup. Uh, has a couple archers. Has quite a few minions and some pups. And the loons are going to go ahead and take care of the rest. Potty Mouth getting it done with another 10v10 3-star for Forbidden. An incredible war, you guys. I shit you not. Okay. So here we go. Here comes Hugh Trung aka swaggy apples i got my list over here you guys still trying to learn all the accounts over here as i am still a new member myself but we got swaggy coming in here uh wait till you guys see this walk and the value he's going to get from it starting queen over here at nine o'clock and like i say guys when you see these attacks going so smooth i'm telling you guys these attacks um it definitely takes something special it's 
especially considering uh, that, I mean, what you guys see is the end result. You see the three star. You do not see the fails that are leading up to it, um, which is absolutely incredible. It really shows the difference in a clan when you can take an attack, when you can take a fail, figure out what worked, what didn't, and go ahead, make the adjustments, and get that three star. And that is what made the difference in this war. But here we go. Swaggy Apples starting at 9, walking down to 6 o'clock. And here we go. Raid spell down, healing those healers up. Goes ahead and pops the ability as Queen takes out the single shot Inferno Tower, takes out the Queen, which was sharing the poison with the enemy CC troops. Uh, so good poison spell placement right there. Uh, got good value out of that. And here we go with a little Kiwi Walk, rounding the bend, which did help trim a lot of that trash to make sure that the Queen went inside that 6 o'clock compartment to take out the Inferno Tower and the enemy Queen from over the wall. Before he goes ahead and starts the flight portion, and here we go, dropping down pre ace. Look at this. Wait till you guys see this. This was one of the best. This was one of my favorite attacks from the war. Check this out. Hounds down. Two groups of loons on each side. Here we go. Two finger drop up at the town hall. Look at this loon split from Tesla to Tesla. Another rage. Look at these loons in perfect symmetry, collapsing on the Inferno Tower, splitting yet again with those two ground expos. But, but with this attack. I do not think it would have mattered. Hay spell in the core to go ahead and take care of uh, those bomb towers. And look at this. Queen still up. He walked the queen from 9 o'clock down to 6, up to 3 where she's helping clean up the base. I didn't even have to times that one, you guys, until the very end. Huge shout to Swaggy Apples getting it done with an incredible queen walk Lalo. Absolutely loved it. All right, guys. Next up. We have Mr. Estonia himself. We have Black doing it. And check this out, guys. This is not a bitch attack. This is a mass bowler attack. You tell me where there's a witch in this army comp. Here we go, guys. I believe there were 20, 24 bowlers in this army comp. And as you guys see, uh, he's going to go ahead and drop down a jump spell. And look at the core. Look at this open core. Good base identification. Here we go. We have bowlers on this on each side. And a queen walk that will be going from 6, rounding the bend, heading up towards 9 o'clock. But it's all about the value and the defenses that these bowlers take out while they're inside this core. There goes the heal spell. They get the expo. Um, they get that cannon down there. And here we go. Uh, we do have both enemy heroes are down, but check this out, you guys. Uh, queen ability is still intact. We have one hog, one, ske one skelly spell. Wait till you guys see this. One skelly spell, and we have one archer. Look at what is left up in this base. Uh, a true testament as we're going to check out this super queen right here. Uh, and here we go. There is actually still a bowler up. Actually, no, I take that back. He just died. Uh, but check this out. Talk about patience. So here we go. Queen walking up. And she's just going to be taking out some of this trash. I'm going to go ahead and time to this. As, I mean, this queen is literally going to be taking out half of this base by herself. So we'll go ahead and times two. Uh, so right here, going to take out the wizard tower. There goes uh, the wizard on the elixir pump. Goes and takes that out just to help queen along, making sure that she goes inside this junction. So here we go. Has to pop ability as... Uh, she was taking damage from that expo. And check this out. Look at the little hog that could. One hog versus the bomb tower. He's going to take the win. And here we go. One more skeleton spell. It's nothing but a matter of time. Super clutch from TD Black. Here we go, guys. Skeleton spell down uh, on that archer tower. Rounding and getting that three star. Huge shout out to Mr. Estonia himself. TTD Black getting it done all right guys that is going to do it for the 10 v 10s now we're going to go ahead and get into the 11 v 11 action starting off the first one we're going to check out is the one coming from ty with that ever so popular queen walk bitch attack starting queen and warden over at nine o'clock he's gonna be walking her down where he'll be entering in on that cannon down there into that six o'clock compartment. But here we go, Queen just making her way. So here comes the Giants, you guys, as they are gonna be approaching the single shot Inferno Tower. Uh, that's why we're seeing this attack done with Giants rather than Golems. Uh, bowlers meeting, are gonna be meeting up 
with the queen, with the warden, with the giants. Here we go, king down. And notice over here at six o'clock on the outside of the wall, check it out, guys. That's right, we got a Max P.E.K.K.A tanking for the bowlers and the witches also helping that peck out is those skellies but here we go look at the troops inside the core they're gonna one shot the eagle artillery there we go raid spell and jump spell down another jump spell leading all the troops to the back end where we got the other point defenses and the ever so deadly inferno tower up there at 12 o'clock and i i i shit you not you guys this attack filled up Probably within three seconds, we had 30 spectators watching this attack and Ty coming in clutch, you guys. But here we go. Check this out. The healers tanking for the heroes. When's the last time you saw that? King is going to go down as that single shot Inferno Tower always finds its way to the king. So king is down. This is where we started to get a little nervous, not knowing if that IT was going to find its way to the queen. But as you guys see, between the healers and the skellies, uh, that Inferno Tower is being tanked. And here we go. Witches break through the wall. Skeletons for the win. Picking up that 11 11 three-star. Huge shout-out to Ty getting the job done. All right, guys. And this was the attack that everybody was talking about. This is the attack where everyone said they want to see this insane Queen Charge Lalo coming from none other than Edo Fido 93, AKA Mask. Here we go, guys, Queen down. We got a Baby Dragon funneling to the left. We got King funneling to the right. Wall Breakers down, they pop the wall. Queen heading straight in, charging straight in to the single shot Inferno Tower. He's gonna have to go ahead and pop ability to take out that IT. There it goes. And look at how many rages he's bringing for this queen and check this out i have no idea how this queen survived taking damage from the teslas the cannons the mortar and not to mention the enemy cc but with that poison and with that beast level 50 queen under rage manages to survive tesla down cannon down once he takes out this mortar He's going to go ahead and drop down a jump spell, which will lead this queen in range of the Eagle Artillery. Not to mention um, four Expos uh, and the ever-so-deadly enemy Archer Queen. Here we go. Jump spell down. And here we go. Going to go ahead and drop down another Rage. As he knows, he's going to have some queen-on-queen -queen action. There it goes. Queen on queen, his queen is going to win this battle. Uh, here we go, expo down, queen down, and here comes the Lalo starting over here at the far left hand side. Hounds down, taking the wizard tower and the archer tower. And notice he chose to use the grand warden with the flight portion rather than with the queen charge. And this queen is still going. She is still going, she has not stopped. Uh, stone warden down. And here we go. She's still taking on these expos. And uh, and you'll see up there at 12 o'clock, went ahead and dropped down a rage to take out the IT as he's just picking apart these defenses one by one, being very patient. And if you guys didn't notice, yes, he does still have that Grand Warden ability, being nice and patient before he goes ahead and uses that. Uh, pretty much ends up swagging it here at the very end. Wait till you guys see it. So Wizard Tower down. As you guys see, he has a huge wad of balloons, still has one more balloon in the camps. His queen has finally gone down after that insane charge. But here we go. Um, last couple point, uh, last couple air targeting defenses as they're going to collapse on that on that archer tower. And as they're taking fire from the wizard tower, he popped the Grand Warren ability and actually gets kind of close. He really, for whatever reason, wanted to really swag this one balloon as he'll be dropping it on the mine. There it goes. Uh, but probably could use that loon to distract the wizard tower. He decided to swag it, got the job done. That is the second and final 11 11 three star uh that we have to show you guys hopefully you enjoyed this war recap as much as i did like i said this war was insane considering the fact the performance that warzone 68 put up back in week one uh forbidden definitely had to bring their a game and that's what they did huge shout out to all the base builders uh the defense 
literally won this war, minimizing the amount of scouts uh, that Warzone 68 could have on the Town Hall 10s. And as you guys know, it's always going to come within one, maybe two stars in these in in these uh, elite competitive wars. Um, but Forbidden walking away with the victory, 130 to 129. Hashtag fear for B. But that is going to do it for this war recap. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, make sure you guys leave it a like. Comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.